What is going on guys, Craig1287 here, bringing you yet another Battlefield 4 video. This time is just going to be a little bit of a, a mixed bag of uh, quite a few things. Uh, first off, I did want to say that I helped out one of my uh, fellow TG clan mates, uh, Tactical Gaming. Uh, he has a show that he does uh, on Twitch every single Monday, and uh, I helped him out uh, being a co-host with that. We were just kind of talking about uh, Thief, uh, Dishonored a little bit, uh, a little bit of other stealth games like some of the Tom Clancy uh, Splinter Cell titles, uh, and stealth games in general. So I'll have a link to that uh, video, the video of that on YouTube. Pretty lengthy, uh, around two hour mark, uh, because it is a a Twitch show, so uh, check that out if you are interested, but um, I, I don't know, if I, if I end up being a co-host or guest on any of those other episodes, I will be sure to let you guys know and provide the link again so that you guys can tune in, uh, and I'll give you the uh, the time that that is, but the, that show airs on Twitch uh, every single Monday at 1.30 Central Time, which is uh, my time zone, so uh, yeah, you do the math and find out when it airs for you. Uh, next thing I did want to say, uh, I don't want to go into it too much, I'm mostly just going to link the video itself, uh, Jack Frags, I'm sure many of you guys, uh, as you probably subscribe to my channel for, for Battlefield content, I'm sure you are also familiar with Jack Frags, he's one of the guys that I've been subscribed to for a very long time, uh, two, three-ish years on YouTube, uh, primarily for Battlefield content, and he released a fantastic video showcasing the Naval Strike DLC that's going to be coming out soon. Uh, there was a PlayStation update uh, for the PS4, and the uh, I guess it got, a lot of stuff got leaked, maybe? I don't know if DICE uh, meant for this stuff to get in there. But uh, you can't actually access uh, all the maps themselves and whatnot. But it does show off some of the... Uh, well, we've already got the weapons, but it shows off the uh, uh, some of the other um, assignments that we can do to earn some of the pins, medals, things like that. There's another thing dealing with Phantom Prospect. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that uh, unfolds. And most beautifully, there's uh, some details on Carrier Assault. There's a little mode that is shown off, and it looks like they have done a fantastic job of recreating Titan Mode. Granted, you're still not attacking something that is up in the air, which was a huge part of it, uh, but there's still this sense of it being this object off in the distance, and the points that we're capturing are launching rockets, and you can get the shields down and get aboard. It, it's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm going to have a, a just a huge nerdgasm when that thing comes out. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. So uh, I have provided the link in the video description below that will take you to that Jack Frags video. His video is uh, just under 14 minutes, so it is pretty lengthy, but check it out if you guys are not subscribed to him already and have not seen that you got to check it out it's a uh, it's a lot of good content a lot of cool little details that got leaked on the ps4 version of battlefield 4 uh, next little thing that i want to mention uh, this was actually posted a while ago uh, four days ago as i'm recording this and it kind of ties into what my uh, next thing that i'll be t uh, discussing and on reddit uh, one of the guys sliced lime he is the lead technical scripter uh, for dice and he posted a, a Reddit post saying, we'd like to fill up this server to test and upgrade, uh, to test an upgrade related to, quote unquote, netcode. Please help out. And someone, um, just gonna go to one of the, one of the top comments. He, he replies, hey, Slice Lime, the guy that made the, uh, the dice guy that made the post. Quick question, is your ultimate goal to match Battlefield 3's netcode performance or surpass it? Thanks. And Slice Lime did respond saying, the ultimate goal is to make it as good as it can possibly get. Comparisons to Battlefield 3 are useful since it's a benchmark. Things that have worked in BF3 but broke in BF4 need to be fixed. Uh, someone responded to that. Can you discuss? Uh, can you disclose what exactly it is that your upgrade or fix that you say? Blah blah blah. He says, for now, I'll keep it a secret. Interesting thing is to see how it feels without any preconceived notions of how it should feel. So, uh, that is kind of interesting, seeing as how Dice then recently, two days ago, as of recording this, released the addressing quote unquote netcode in Battlefield 4 article on the on Battle Log. And uh, it's a pretty lengthy post. I don't want to go over too much. Uh, basically, they talk about how 
they know that the quote unquote net code uh, thing is a problem, how I'm sure they hate the the term netcode, uh, mostly because everybody just refer it's very general. Uh, there's a lot of problems both on networking side and on the actual code of the engine that that affect this thing. It's not just one thing with the netcode. Um, so I'm sure they really do hate that, but also the fact that they hear it so often, uh, and it's such a just a negative. Uh, connotation associated with that term. But uh, they also then talk about some of the things that they are fixing or investigating, and then towards the end of the article, they talk about some of the, uh, the things that they have fixed. Uh, mostly just as a see guys, look at what we have actually done kind of thing, because the, there is a lot of negativity in the community, which is sad. It's never, it, I mean, that always just typically snowballs uh, when people get so negative. It just uh, people jump on the negative bandwagon and it just it snowballs into a uh, horrible community so hopefully that does not happen but uh just real quick the things they are wanting to fix or that they are investigating is uh the rubber banding uh that is always a huge issue uh i've been experiencing a lot of that uh, dealing with packet loss and it really really sucks so i'm glad that they're still looking at uh improving the rubber banding issues uh, kill cam delay slash pay, uh, player death sync. I never really experienced this exactly. There have been a lot of times when my health, I'll watch my recordings that are uh, being recorded by Shadow Play at 60 frames per second. Uh, I will watch those back and go frame by frame. And a lot of times, I go from zero, uh, from 100 health down to zero in the span of one frame, which shouldn't happen uh, unless it's a sniper or a shotgun or explosion, uh, and it's not even a headshot. So that kind of stuff really, really sucks. But I, I haven't really experienced what they described there. Uh, if you guys have experienced that, please comment below. Uh, that'd be interesting to see what platforms that's happening on or or what would be the cause. Uh, tick rate. This has been a huge thing. Uh, if you guys don't know, the servers only update uh, at one... At, Let's just go with 10 hertz. Uh, we'll call it that. And so it doesn't matter what your ping is, uh, what the uh, what your opponent's pings are, or any of that stuff. They still also are dependent on the tick rate of the engine as to how often these servers ask for an update. Uh, and that has been uh, one of the biggest things. That's I'm guessing that tick rate thing is what they were testing out in that Reddit post from Slice Lime. Uh, and because they say that they're not currently, they don't have any plans to increase the tick rate, uh, but they are exploring the possibilities of raising the tick rates on specific servers. And, uh, in that Reddit post, the guy says how they got this one server that they, uh, have made some upgrades to quote unquote netcode. So that, that's probably what that was. Um, definitely read that Reddit post to see what some of the people's response that were able to get in that server and uh, check it out. So hopefully, hopefully they do make some changes to this tick rate thing because that is one of the biggest uh, problems that I've had with the game. Uh, no register damage. Uh, this is a pretty bad thing when you're shooting people and you can even see blood splattering out and you're not getting hit markers, you're not getting any kill assist, uh, but eventually the guy does get uh, killed by somebody else and you get a suppression assist. There was a, a very painful to watch GIF floating around there. Uh, I don't actually have it on hand, uh, but if anybody can link it, it's pretty painful to watch. The guy just walks behind a guy for about 15 seconds, uh, shooting him dead on, like within 10 feet, and clearly should have been killing the guy. Never gets a single hit marker. The guy gets killed, and he gets a suppression assist. Very painful to watch. Uh, also pretty handy because he does have some of the net uh, networking stats in the bottom left of that GIF, if you can read that. Uh, instant death while sprinting. I haven't really had this uh, happen lately. This used to happen in Battlefield 3 a lot, the thing where you'd be walking around and you would try vaulting over something or and, and the game would screw up and lunge you forward at a billion miles per hour. Maybe a million. Okay, just really, really fast. Uh, and that would kill you. <laughs> Uh, I've had some cases where it does kind of screw up and it jolts you forward, but I, it hasn't killed me as often as it did in Battlefield 3. This is probably, this has happened less than five times for me, uh, whereas that happened probably a few dozen times in Battlefield 3. So, uh, it hasn't happened as often, but it's glad to see, uh, that they're, they're still working on fixing that. 
Uh, next, various items. In addition to these items, there are also fixes coming with Levolution being out of sync, shocks uh, appearing to be fired in the wrong direction. That actually is a pretty bad thing where you're looking at someone and you can watch in the uh, in the recording afterwards that guy's not looking at you and then you see that guy's the one that killed you. Kind of weird when they're not looking at you. Just a weird issue there. Uh, vehicles outside the infantry area not taking damage when fired at. Also, we've introduced new in-game icons. All right, so this part's actually pretty cool because in one of the big patches that recently kind of somewhat came out in the last month, they introduced those little four packet thingies, uh, and that's to show packet loss, which happens all the time. You just don't want it to happen uh, excessively. That's what causes a rubber banding. So that was introduced and they've now added in a new one to distinguish itself uh, from a specific uh, just connection with the server whether there's lag and not necessarily packet loss uh, this one is a little clock thing so there's now going to be two different icons I hope that they can both appear on screen at the same time uh, when the two cases are happening but uh, yeah that's uh, about it uh, I guess I should also mention in uh, Jack Frags' video, uh, talking about that little thing that leaked, he did say uh, or notice that there was a, 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 a added to the console version the way to do the uh, networking analyzation, uh, and uh, that actually got, gave some pretty cool details. Sadly, he can only use it on the test range, and the test range is... Well, it's handled on your own uh, client. Uh, you're not connecting to any server. So he couldn't really use it to actually test the connection to any servers. But it will be interesting to see if that, uh, how that pans out for consoles and for uh, PC. So hope you guys have enjoyed the gameplay going on there in the background. And I hope you enjoyed all the little details and tidbits of information. Battlefield 4 is slowly getting better. Hopefully it continues to get much, much, much better. Uh, and hopefully one day on par with Battlefield 3 because... That game is still just feels so much more smooth than Battlefield 4 does. And hopefully we can get to that point before Battlefield 5 comes out. So, uh, and I believe, uh, Battlefield 4 actually after, um, the Naval Strike DLC comes out is going to be handled by the, the developers that were behind Medal of Honor, uh, Warfighter. Uh, the Danger Close guys. They, they're now Dice, uh, LA or something like that. And I think they're taking over. So it'll be interesting to see how things pan out. Hope you guys have enjoyed all of this. Have a good one. Ta-ta.